Hey there, YouTubers. So, uh, you know, I thought I was going to do a clear gloss over it, but turns out the glossy paint is actually a white gloss, so that's not going to work out, but it's no big deal. I can always uh, paint it later. So, but the thing is that if you are going to do a painted project with spray paint, you need to wait a few days to let it cure. See, there's dry and then there's cured. Now, if you spray a clear coat on when it's dry, that means touch, then it's gonna bubble or flake or whatever because the paint underneath is not drying exactly. Now, my understanding is this is only with enamel-based paint, but just to be on the safe side, give your paint a few days to cure and then apply your clear coat. And I can always apply a clear coat later, it's no big deal. But since I don't have that, I'm going to apply the wheels and at least put it all together so it's functional. Now, I had some of these casters a while ago and I had some screws to work with. Now, the previous wheels were way too small. I was not happy with them. So, I'm going to use much bigger ones and as you can see, there's an issue right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pilot hole from the previous one to be the location for the, the wheel. This will act as an anchor, so that way I don't have to worry about it moving around when I'm drilling. So, but when it actually does come to drilling, you need a bit about the diameter of what is called the minor diameter. You have a major diameter, which is your thread, and then you have your minor diameter, which is where the pit, uh, not this is actually not the pitch, that's called the trough. Um, tip, uh, tip, tip of thread is called pitch. But anyway, as you can see, this is a uh, 764. It doesn't really matter what the size is going to be to the screw as long as the uh, bit is the same diameter as the minor diameter of your screw. So, we're gonna screw in the first one just to get this thing started. Hopefully, hmm, hopefully this will actually go in. Let's get it so it's not the way the wheel. need be, I might have to do it by hand. Okay. Go. Yep, looks like it's at a, not a very decent angle for me to get it. So, I'll have to do that one by hand. For this one though, I can actually move out of the way. So, as you can see, it's got the uh, multi-directional and these are unidirectional. Now when you're having a rolly table of some kind you could do four unidirectional or you could technically have four multi-directional but since this is going to be a work surface we want to be able to have it a little bit of um, stability so with these it won't be so bad. Now if they were locking that would be even better. That's what you want to get. So let's get this one in here at least Start it up slowly. Now, the reason you want to pre-drill your holes is so that you don't split your wood. A common mistake that people make when they're screwing in the wood is that they don't pre-drill and then they split the wood. Now, because this is a multi-directional wheel, straightness of the bracket is not as important. There we go. So we got that in. We'll take this one. And you want to have them facing on the same side. Or else it's just going to act weird. Especially since you have these unidirectional wheels. There we go. Now, i got to be careful not to give too much power or else I'll strip it. That would be bad. Would have been better if it was a flathead, but unfortunately I'm using what I had at the time. 
So we're gonna we're gonna drill and screw in the rest of these. All right, I'm gonna have the uh, let's let's just drill these holes here. Might as well. Hey man, why don't you just screw in all the other ones? I still gotta drill, still gotta pre-drill a hole. There we go. Get that off. Not bad. Okay, I think I might be overthinking all this, but first, it's clearly not a perfect job. And I guess I'm trying to make it perfect. I don't know. But uh, just just for the sake of self-depreciation and because I'm a sucker for pain, I'm going to see how level this is with the water test. Take a little water. And if it flows, it means... It's not level. Well, that looks pretty level to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, and interesting. Science. Hmm. Paper towels. Blinded with science. No, no, there. So, since we know that we can't just drill right into the original holes because we're going to hit these, we're going to have to drill new ones. And that, where that's at, is not going to work out too good. If we were to go right through here, it would end up right there. That's going to be a problem. So what we can do is we could drill here and here a little out. Maybe here into there. I think it'll work. What do you think? Okay.
we can actually see the wood cracking a little bit. So just to be on the safe side, let's go one size bigger just to make sure we don't ruin this wood. Because this is pretty old wood. I guess it works. It's not pretty, but you know, it works. I don't know about you, but I'm I'm pretty hungry. So you guys stay tuned. There'll be more projects in the future, and we'll get to explore the uh, process together. Watch me fumble, learn some things, and uh, you know, have a good time. So you guys take it easy.